Do you have pain in the front of the knee when jumping, running, or playing basketball? You may be having jumper's knee or patella femoral pain syndrome. So today we're gonna to go over one test that you can differentiate between the two. My name is Dr. Marco Lopez, Doctor of Physical Therapy and Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist and Co-Founder of The Basketball Doctors. Today we're gonna to go over one quick test that you can do to find out if you have jumper's knee or patella femoral pain syndrome. If you want to learn more about jumper's knee or patella femoral pain syndrome, click the video above here. We talk about all jumper's knee. And in this video, we talk about patella femoral pain syndrome. I'm going to quickly summarize each of them. So jumper's knee, it's more of a tendon issue. So meaning you overuse that patellar tendon when jumping, playing basketball, and it starts to hurt right in the bottom of the kneecap or right in that tendon. Patella femoral pain syndrome, which often gets confused with jumper's knee, is pain around the kneecap joint, the patella femoral joint. And sometimes with that, the pain is kind of diffuse. You don't really know where it is. You're like, oh, it just, so it gets confused a lot with jumper's knee. So, but they're very different pathologies and they have different rehab. So jumper's knee rehab will be a little bit different than patella femoral pain rehab. So we're gonna go over one test that we often use with people to find out do you have more jumper's knee or patella femoral pain? And it's a quick little test that you can start doing right away. So to do that test, all you need is an elevated surface. We have a slant board here that's gonna elevate our heels. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do the step down test, the decline squat test. And this is a test that's perfect for jumper's knee, but it also has its role for patella femoral pain syndrome. So when I'm here, my heel is elevated and I'm gonna go down into a squat here. So when it comes to jumper's knee, as I do this exercise, when I, if you have pain initially going down early on, that's gonna be more jumper's knee and you're gonna feel that right below the kneecap. If you start having pain at the very bottom, that's gonna be more patella femoral pain syndrome. So we're gonna kind of re go over those two. So when you do this test, so like I said, just use anything to elevate your heels. Here, as you can see, we're using a slant board. So once in, at the initial bout, so the initial first 30 degrees, so just from here to here, would be more jumper's knee. If you go past that stage, that's gonna be more patella femoral pain syndrome. So if I have pain when I do this, oh, I feel something, that's more jumper's knee. But if I don't feel any pain, and then I go down, down, lower, lower, and like, oh, now I feel the pain, that's more patella femoral pain. So the initial bout of doing this exercise, or this test, is gonna be jumper's knee. The later bout would be more patella femoral pain syndrome. And it might hurt in the same area, but if it hurts early on, that's more jumper's knee. If it hurts later on, that's more patella femoral pain syndrome. So I'm gonna show you a different angle here as well. So in the side view, if I'm here, this is more jumper's knee. As I get lower, that's more patella femoral pain. And it's gonna hurt around that kneecap area. So that's just one quick test you can do besides symptoms. And we talked about that in those previous videos, but symptoms meaning, do you have pain going down the stairs, sitting for a long period of time? That's more patella femoral pain syndrome versus jumper's knee, it's gonna hurt more with activity, jumping, running, playing basketball. So to recap, when you do this test, use anything to elevate your heels, you can use a weight plate, but if it hurts initially for the first 30 degrees, that's more jumper's knee. If it hurts after that, it's more patella femoral pain syndrome. Hopefully you kind of learned the differences between the two. And like, it's, like we said, we have a bunch of videos to talk about the difference between these both. But if you like this video, hit the like, share, subscribe button, share this with friends and family and other hoopers. And if you guys have any questions regarding this test, comment below and we'll try to answer all the questions. But I hope you guys like this video. We are the Basketball Doctors, so let's fall for love.